Hello everyone, welcome back. If you're like me, and before you go away on holiday, you do a little bit of research and check out reviews on the places you're going. I'd heard a lot about one particular holiday park in the UK that was attracting a lot of attention with headlines like worst holiday ever and a nightmare on earth. I had to check this place out. Multiple complaints from guests. We are investigating the conditions inside the resort's most famous holiday camp, Pontins. The floor is wet. I have no idea what's on it, but that does not look nice. What is that? Oh man, that's disgusting. It was so well known for its bad reviews that ITV did a report back in it in 2019. And sadly, in the same year, part of the roof collapsed, injuring 18 people. With over 3,000 terrible reviews, I had to come and check this place out. So Ms. Satnav says I'm two minutes away. It's a really lovely part of the country, actually. I hear it's got a really lovely beach as well. Green Sands Beach, it's supposed to be really nice. There's a lot of holiday parks around here. So this is it. Hello, mate. Where do I go to check in? Okay, just park up by the double crossing there. Yeah. Go down the steps, please double to the left, mate. Okay, cheers, thank you. I'll tell you what, the front entrance is, uh, is pretty impressive. It reminds me of the old uh, holiday parks from the 60s. Although the, uh, the sign has seen better days. Right, let's go and check in. Right, so I'm in block six. This is block nine. There's block seven. Just here. Yeah, block six behind block seven. Right, here we are, block number six, and apartment number 56. 56, here it is, with a chair ready to go, <laughs> me to sit on. So, first impressions. <laughs> I'm getting a running theme with these chairs everywhere. So, it's basic, and I tell you what, when I actually booked it, they said I wouldn't have a cooker, yet I do, and it looks all right. It looks, well, it looks clean. It's a fridge, working. What's that? The handles are actually rusty. Cooking utensils, maybe that could do with a bit of a clean. What's up here? Cups and a cup of tea. Oh man, that's disgusting. What is that? Okay, I just pulled that off with my finger. Is that like coffee or something? Gross. So I just realised obviously it doesn't come with electricity. I've got to top that up. That's in here. How much credit have I got? So I've got to pay for my electricity, which I have heard, you know, that's quite usual in some holiday parks. I think they could do with changing the filter there. I mean, cosmetically, I mean, all right, what? <coughs> it's not the best. Looks a bit gross there. The floor is wet. I have no idea what's on it, but that does not look nice. What's the bathroom like? Oh, that's not bad. Nice long crack in there. Oh my God. Nice bit of mold on the shower curtain, but you know, I guess that's, uh, that's standard. Let's have a look. So I've gone for a studio which I believe that pulls out to a sofa bed. Does this pull out as a sofa bed? No, it doesn't. A very nice and relaxable couch. Yeah, I could sit here and watch telly. In fact, I like the fact that it's got um, a really nice slanted back, so you can really just chill out. I thought he had no electricity, but the telly seems to work. Okay, so I've been messing around with this for about 10, 15 minutes. 
And I think I've only got radio. I think TV, maybe extra. I don't know, but I can't seem to work that out. Let's check out the bedroom. I've gone for obviously uh, a single room. Obviously you have to bring your own bedding, but let's uh, try out the beds. Right. Not too bad. If I weed the bed, obviously that protective uh, <laughs> mattress on the end. What is that? Is that like paint? I have no idea what that is. To be honest, I don't really want to know. It looks like a bullet hole. Oh, look at the poor hangers. Well, at least they're free. Spacious wardrobe. Do you know what? I thought I could smell a little bit of mold. There is just a little bit of mold. But I mean, let's face it, you know, if you look hard enough, you're gonna find some rubbishy areas. On the whole, this apartment is not too bad. Um, I've seen worse. The view isn't overly that exciting, to be fair. People's mattress just hanging over the edge. Nice. Right, let's check out the map. This is where we are now. We can have a walk around. There's Bouncy Castle, there's Crazy Golf, there's a sports field. We'll check out the main venue as well. There's a skate park on here, which looks pretty cool. And there's also fun bikes. Let's do it. So these chairs are a bit of a common theme. So this is the tennis court. Well, there's one net up. Some broken signage. Broken bits of wood. Blooming chairs everywhere. Anyone for basketball? <laughs> Love these chalets, they're very retro. In fact, the whole part's retro. Right, so on the map, this is the leisure zone. I think there's like inflatables up here and some other stuff for the kids to do. Let's go and check it out. Oh, nothing seems to be open though. Bit of a shame. This has seen better days. Why don't they just like get rid of this? Why do they just leave it there? It looks awful. It just feels like the park's closed down. Wow. This is the go-kart track. Overgrown weeds. I mean, is this even open? I don't think it's been open for a while. Look, the cabin's just full of rubbish. See, it's a shame, I wanted to come on the go-karts. I mean, really? And then you, it's just beggar's belief how this has just been left like this on a park that is open to the public and people are paying to come here on holiday. And even on the map, it tells you that all these facilities are here, not that they're overgrown, old and shut and broken. So the racetrack has seen better days. This is the inflatable zone. At least this looks like it's semi-operational. But I mean, I've just checked in and um, everything is like padlocked, locked and switched off. The only things that you can go on really is the park. 
Oh, and the um, exercise place just over there. Wow. So maybe this is open. No, this is all overgrown as well. Crocs mini carts. No carts out here. It's all overgrown. Another one of these that's out of order again. Why don't they just get rid of them if it's out of order? Look at the colour of the water, that is disgusting. See, you can't even put any coins in it anyway. All right, so what about the crazy golf? Again, it has seen better days, but is it open? I want to do something. I've just traveled three and a half hours to come here. And I looked on the map and there's all these cool things. Yeah, there's nothing to do. Everything is shut. All right, so there is something to see here. Some birdies. And that's it. <laughs> One of the guys said a lot of it closes at four o'clock, but I mean, sorry, the go-karts and the other stuff didn't look like they've been used in years. So I just spoke to someone else who's here on holiday um, and they complained about their room. And when they went to reception, they basically were told, well, it's somewhere to lay your head down. I keep seeing this sign everywhere. Don't know about the new. Maybe it was back in 2011. So let's check out the Queen Victoria. So let's see what they've got on tonight. It's Tuesday, so bingo at six o'clock. Kids party time, game show. So if I'm being honest, the clubhouse is the best thing on the park. So let's be honest, if you want a cheap getaway by the sea, do you know what, the accommodation isn't too bad. However, the facilities on site definitely need updating and just generally clearing up. The clubhouse, that's okay. But I mean, compared to some videos I've seen of some of the accommodation, I think I got lucky. Anyway, thank you very much for watching the video. Please make sure you give it a thumbs up if you haven't already hit subscribe and I'll see you next time.